Hello everybody, welcome to another class of Science Wednesday. If you remember from last class, we saw a little bit of what the contagious rate is. شو بنعرف من قبل؟ نسبة العدوى بتعطينا فكرة عن عدد الأشخاص اللي بيصيبهم المرض من شخص واحد مصاب. إذا المعدل أصغر من واحد، إذا المرض رح ينتشر ببطء. إذا المعدل أكبر من واحد، إذا المرض رح ينتشر بسرعة. Now today, Elska, what are we going to learn? So today we will see the situation where the contagious rate is higher than one. So if one person is sick, this person will give it to more than one other person. And what happens, what we call it if this happens, is an epidemic. If the contagious rate of a disease is larger than one, this is one person infect several people, we can face an epidemic. إذا المعدل أكبر من واحد نقدر إنه نواجه وباء. If an epidemic spreads to different countries in different continents, then this epidemic becomes a pandemic. إذا الوباء بينتشر لأكثر من بلد فبيصير وباء شامل. Alright, so we have seen many many epidemics in the time of the human race. خلينا نتعرف على الأوئبة اللي حصلت في الماضي. The Black Death. الطاعون الأسود. The Black Death was a pandemic that happened around 1350, killing more than 100 million people in Asia, Africa, and Europe. حصل في أوروبا، آسيا، وأفريقيا تقريبا في عام 1350 وقتل أكثر من 100 مليون شخص. The symptoms of the disease were high fever, dark marks in the skin. Bumps of the size of an egg, full of black and bad smelling liquid, and eventually death. The disease caused pain and discomforts in the skin, with swelling and the smell of the egg, and also caused death. Doctors didn't know how the disease was spread. They thought it was through air, or maybe by touching clothes of sick people, or that the affected were those who got decided. Since they didn't know what the disease was. They were unable to stop it. الأطباء ما كانوا بيعرفوا كيف المرض بينتشر، وبعضهم فكروا إنه هذا المرض عقاب من الله. ما كان عندهم معلومات كافية، وما قدروا إنهم يوقفوا من انتشار هذا المرض. In the 19th century, they realized the reason behind the disease, a bacteria. It is transmitted to humans by the bites of fleas that bit an infected animal before. قبل 200 سنة اكتشفوا انه سببها البكتيريا المرض بينتشر الى الانسان عن طريقة عضة البراغيث والبراغيث من قبل بتكون عضة حيوان مريض بالعادة الفيرون In the 14th century boats were full of rats and fleas so when the rats got the disease it easily spread around the world through port cities السفن في عام 1350 كانوا مليانين بالفيران والبراغيث بهذا السبب المرض انتشر بسهولة من المدن حوالين العالم اللي كان فيها الميناء The low hygiene of people, lack of sewage and living conditions in cities were perfect for rats and fleas to flourish and since no one knew they were causing the disease, the spread was unstoppable كان ظروف النظافة ونقص الصرف الصحي في المدن هو البيئة المثالية للفيران والبراغيث وبما أن الناس ما كانوا بيعرفوا أنه عم بينشر المرض ما قدروا أنهم يوقفوا Wow, so then things like the hygiene played a really important role in this and so did people living very close together or really close to animals that had fleas on them Definitely, yeah and also a funny thing uh, an epidemic like this one something, it's something really big it has a huge impact and in the case of the Black Death, they also think it inspired social change. So it uh, created better circumstances for the workers because there were so little healthy people left to work that their wages went up. Oh. And also they think it inspired the technological discoveries because they had to find another way to uh, use labor. وما كثير من الناس لدرجة إنه صار في ثورة اجتماعية وتكنولوجية. وبس ضل عدد قليل من العمال وعشان هيك ارتفعت رواتبهم right, so now, uh, خلينا نرجع بالزمن so captain where are we going we don't know 
How we don't know. What are we doing here then? We're following Columbus. And where is Columbus going? We don't know. Ah, that, that makes sense. Let's follow our friends going to America with Columbus for the first time. خلينا نتابع الناس اللي راحوا مع كولومبوس إلى أمريكا لأول مرة. When Columbus and the explorers arrived to America, they brought with them diseases from Europe. Europeans were used to these diseases and could survive them, but Americans were not. الأوروبيين جابوا معاهم أمراض اللي كان عندهم مناعة لإلها، لكن الأمريكيين لسه ما كانوا مستعدين لهدول الأمراض. The explorers started war with the natives of the continent, and they won. Thanks to a weapon that they didn't even know they had. Diseases like smallpox and chickenpox killed around 90% of the natives. لما الأوروبيين والسكان الأصليين بدوا في محاربة بعض، الأوروبيين كان عندهم سلاح هم مش واعيين عنه، وهذا هو المرض، المرض قتل تقريبا 90% من السكان الأصليين. Okay, so actually a lot of Native Americans died in huge numbers just because of diseases that we brought from Europe. But then, why didn't European people die in huge numbers because of diseases from America? ليش الأوروبيين ما ماتوا بسبب الأمراض الأمريكيين؟ When Europeans came back to Europe, they might have brought diseases from America. But the immune systems of Europeans was used to live in very unhygienic conditions, surrounded by animals, and exposed to a lot of different infective agents. So it was better prepared to fight intruders than the immune systems of Americans. The Europeans were living with the diseases that cause the disease, such as the animals and the birds. So the system of protection was strong for these things, but the protection of the Americans was not strong. What did we learn today? If one person is infected, he can transfer the disease to many people, so we can face the disease. And if the disease is spread to many countries, فمن we can face the disease as a whole. والبشر تعرضوا لعدة أوئبة من قبل بعضهم سببهم البكتيريا مثل الطاعون الأسود وغيرهم سببها الفيروس زي الجدري أو الـ HIV Alright, so that was it for today again We hope you enjoy it And see, and you, see you next time Bye bye, bye, bye.